hey, I decided to see if I could build a creative AI animation platform of my very own. So after just 16 long, cold months with no sleep, um, I finally launched the platform a few days ago, initially on LinkedIn to a much smaller audience to see if we can break the platform. Um, so far, all the feedback's been really positive. Roll the promo. As well as all of that, as of the early hours of this morning, as I stayed up till way too late, you can now edit your images using a text prompt so you can create consistency between scenes to drive different video generations. And I also added Pika to the other video models where you can also use Kling, VO2, and one other one which I can't remember. Okay, roll the other video. <laughs> still early days there's lots of things I want to add lots of refinements but you can register for free and you'll get a little bunch of credits to try out the platform and then there's a creative and a pro tier you can subscribe to um but yeah I'll quickly jump in now and just show you how you can try it out and I'll explain all the things that will hopefully come in the future as well here we go Okay, so to start off with, if you head over to AIanimation.com and you'll see the newly updated homepage where there's info about the new AI animation platform, and I'm still perfecting what's going on here. And if you spin down, you'll see there's information on courses, app, creative directories, and consulting service. But we're not interested in any of that, so I'm going to go ahead and press try it for free today. And that opens up almost a second homepage at the moment. Um, and again, there's information about the platform. And let's press get started again create a new user so we've got my email so I'm just going to create a brand new account here and then it's going to ask for a verification code which will be emailed out if you can't find your code please double check your spam folder otherwise let me know once you've got your code paste it in and we're away and it should log us straight into the dashboard and it prompts us to create our first project folder so I'm just going to call this one angry kittens and press create project and it creates our first project folder up here and you'll see on the left, we have our toolbar where we are currently in the generate section. You can see what's coming in the future and you can share feedback either via a portal or via a simple email. And that's massively appreciated, especially as a solo developer trying to cover the development as well as doing all the bug testing. But let's jump back into generate and over here. So we've got our project folder, which I can move into and it's currently empty. And I can press the gallery button there to go back up and I can press the plus button here to create another folder so let's do happy pigs and we have our two folders and you can click the three dots here to rename and you can't currently delete because i've not yet finished coding that but you can rename so i'm going to move down to the generation section here where we can enter our text prompt so i'm going to put angry kitten fighting a badger and we've got various pre-made text prompts here to help speed up your prompting process so i skip along here i'm going to go for claymation and graffiti as well, why not? And then down the bottom, we can choose which folder this generation is gonna go into. It's currently set to go to Happy Pigs, but we're gonna change it to Angry Kittens. Alternatively, you could move into one of these folders and it will swap out that active folder so it will use the one you've moved into. But again, you could swap back to another one if you wanted to. And you can also lock the folder that you're currently saving these generations to. Just gonna jump into that Angry Kittens folder so you can see what happens when we start the generation in a minute. You can click here and type in a unique seed number it automatically goes up by one and the initial seed is randomly generated and then it will increment by one as you generate more images or videos. But if you want to lock the seed, you can just click there. So it will stay the same between different image generations and you can vary the prompt 
to get similar but slightly different outputs. Here you can choose the aspect ratio of your generation. I'm going to leave it on 16 by 9. Here you can choose how many generations you want to create. I'm going to leave that on 1. And here you can choose the AI model from Basic, which costs you 3 credits, Deluxe 20 credits, Deluxe Pro 45, and there's one that's specifically best for text, and that uses 60 credits. So we're going to go for Deluxe. Um, and you can then switch over to video mode if you wanted to, and you can upload an image of your own or use one of your generations when you've got them. But we're going to leave it on image and press generate. And we get this little placeholder here, which hopefully in the future I'll add some indication of how much work's going on. And we get this awesome image, and that is one hell of an angry kitten uh, fighting a kind of creepy badger. But um, yeah, I like it. Um, and if we wanted to, we could do up to four generations if we were on one of the paid subscriptions. I'm just going to put it onto two. And let's do a few more generations. So we've got our 9 by 16 ones, our 16 by 9 one. Let's do a couple of square ones as well. All very cool. I think that first one is still my favourite. And if we wanted to, we could have written a different prompt here. Go up and we can press the re-prompt button here and it will refill this back with our original text prompt. And you can download the image and you can delete it. So for example, if we didn't like that one, just click and delete. And we can actually go up to the checkbox here in the right, click that and select any images or videos when you have them and delete multiple ones at the same time. But I really like that first one, so I'm going to go ahead and press the video button here, and it's going to fill up our reference image space here in the prompt section, and I'm going to leave all of that text in place. But you will notice the presets here have changed to camera commands, so I'm going to leave it on dolly out, and I'm going to leave it at five seconds. It's automatically selected the aspect ratio based on the reference image, and you will find the available ones will vary depending on the model you go for. And I'm going to go for Kling 1.6 Pro. We do also have Google VO2 now, which if I click on that, you'll see it uses a full 1,500 credits. It's much more expensive to run, but the outputs are very, very impressive. But similarly, I think Kling 1.6 Pro is very impressive as well. And I'm going to press Generate. And we get this current placeholder, and I've added some estimated text on how long these generations will take. I have been finding they're much quicker than my estimates, so I need to update this. And in the future, I'm going to figure out a way so that the indication of how long these generations are going to take is much more accurate, and you'll get updates as it goes through the process. But with that first generation completed, I ended up with this video here, and I can just roll over and we get a quick preview, and we can click on it to see a larger version. And you can download and, again, reuse the text prompt. But the motion's pretty cool. Some fast action. Yeah, pretty happy with that. Um, and I rolled again and got another fight scene, kind of similar. Um, but yeah, very, very cool. Um, so yeah, head over there and try it out. And this, again, will work with 9x16 and square images as well as the original reference. Um, yeah, and if you wanted to, you could swap in a different image here. So you can just press there, upload an image. And I've got this one here. And if you wanted to, you could change to one of these presets and scale it down. To the part of the image you want to work with, press upload, and then you can write out your prompt. Currently, it still shows a 16 by 9 frame here, but it will actually be working with that one by one square image. Um, so I need to fix that. And again, you can play around with the text prompts, choose your model. Um, and I've actually just added Pika here, but it's not currently live. So that'll be going up within the next 10 15 minutes. Uh, and then, uh, yeah, you can go ahead and generate that video. And there's actually another feature I've added since I started making this video. As I mentioned earlier, you can now edit your images using a simple text prompt. So if you roll over one of these, you can go ahead and press the edit button. So I'm going to edit our original one. And you can see the reference image there. And you can just write a description of what you want to change. So, And I've written, change the kitten to a black cat and give the badger a lightsaber and a black cloak. And press generate. And this uses 10 credits. And editing these images takes around 20 seconds or so to complete. And there we have our edited image. It's not perfect. It's given the lightsaber to the cat, but we do have a black cat. And our badger has got that black cloak, but we could obviously run that edit again until you get a generation which works a bit better. I'm going to do it one more time just to show the process. And I've written, move the cat's tail so it points up. And I'm editing our original image again, and I'm pressing go. 
and that's completed that edit there and so previously we had the tail to the side and now it's going straight up so you can see how with a text prompt you can fine tune your image before you maybe move into a video generation or if you're just generating images you can use text prompts to fine tune the image awesome and you have that lovely consistency between the scene and then very quickly before i wrap up uh, there is a mode here so you can switch this and change over to light mode um, so just your classic light mode dark mode but let's leave it in dark mode because it's cool um, and eventually there will be a profile settings section here where you'll be able to go and change your user settings um, and if you do subscribe you'll be able to click here and you can actually already go into your uh, subscription settings and tweak your payment details and things like that and then lastly click on the credits button here and you can see the current pricing. So the creative plan is $15 a month and you get 7,500 credits. You can do six concurrent image generations. So you can generate six images at the same time and up to two video generations at the same time. And then on the pro plan, it's $39 a month. You get 22,000 credits. You can do eight image generations at the same time or four video generations at the same time. And you can mix those together. Um, and then once you're subscribed to either of these, you can then purchase a credits top-up pack. Um, if you are a studio or a production company and you're looking to have lots of people use a platform and you're interested in helping shape this platform, please get in touch. And last, and if you are interested in investing in growing the platform and helping uh, build it into a big viable business, please do get in touch. And I almost forgot to say, you've got filter buttons up here so you can filter by just images or videos or both. And if you press the gallery button up here, you go back to the root level and you get little thumbnail previews of your images and videos for any of your project folders for a quick reference so you know what you're working in. And again, you can filter these results as well. Nice. Okay, um, thanks for watching the video. Hopefully you like the platform. Please do leave any comments on what you think, what you'd like to see added. Um, and um, yeah, if you haven't already, like and subscribe. Head over to AIanimation.com to try out the platform. Cheers. Thank you.